Hi friends, this is Mehtab. In our last tutorial, we create many parts like handle, then pin and rubber coatings. So let's start the assembly. So go to new, click new, select assembly, click OK. Just enlarge it and select the part 1. Okay, now again go to insert component, select part 2, no, we need part, okay, part 5, this is our main handles, again go to insert component, choose handle rubber coat, this is for this, again click insert component, rubber handle coat 2, for this go to appearance setting and choose white ambient only see it's look real see it's uh, looking very nice so let's start now we will fix this with this uh, handles just fix both the covers so select the bottom click mat Now select this bottom part, go inside, click OK. Yes. Now rubber handle. Rubber handle select front plane mat. Now choose this is the rubber handle port one. Now this is the part five, this is the handle. So choose front click ok now this is in both the same line now choose right then go to rubber handle choose right sorry this cancel it This is not the rubber handle. This choose third part. Right. Now see it is matched with this handle. Click OK. Now you can choose same as this one. Choose this bottom for second handle and inside of the rubber coat go inside click ok now this is the part one this is rubber so click on rubber select front plane Now go to part 1, the same, choose front plane. Now it is in front plane, click OK. Choose right plane. Now go to rubber handle 2, choose right plane. Now see, it is matched. It is fixed with handle, click OK. This is looking quite better. Now just click move component, choose rotate and rotate this part. 
okay we want to fix the component like this click ok now choose mat go to advanced mat choose width now choose width one side choose another side now choose one side inside and another side inside click ok yes now this almost in the same plane just make it float make it inside this is looking quite better just drag it little okay now we will insert another component insert one component choose part 3 okay now we will insert this component just rotate this component click rotate okay click okay now select mat choose this circle and choose this inside circle click ok now go to next page just drag inside and we want to fix with this body so go to advanced mat choose this one and this one select distance 1 mm keep flip dimension keep this moving distance 3.5 mm and gap keep 0 mm click ok now click ok see you cannot move full there is a limit this 3 point it will go inside and outside only 3.5 mm not more than that now we will fix this one now click this component click edit part so before editing save and continue save the documents on your folder wrench keep assembly ok now click on the surface choose a sketch select a line and draw one line carefully from one end one end of teeth to last teeth now exit from the line and exit from the sketch and exit from the edit part now we will assign one relation between this uh, roundabout this pin uh, take it little out select this line click mat choose this roundabout of pin and select 
tangent now it's looking ten. click yes click yes now we will see how it will move Uh, we will uh, make one thing make this body fix and rotate this one ok now see now this this uh, pin is uh, thread rotating with this pin This is the position, this thread moving along with this. Make little down. Now we will create a relation between this pin and thread, rack and pinion relation. So let's start. Just make it uh, in a front view. Of this assembly try to keep okay go to shared mode click the sketch now drag this down now rotate this pin and just uh, make little more down this uh, match this pin thread with this handle thread keep last thread parallel to each other see it needs little more down ok now see this uh, thread is almost matching this is almost matching Now click mat, go to mechanical mat, choose rack and pinion, keep 1 mm that's everything same, choose pinion, pinion we will choose the diameter, we will choose this outside diameter, remove this one. choose this outside diameter and for rack choose this line click ok yes now see either this working or not so just rotate now see the pins are rotating with threads it's looking beautiful Go to shed mode, click shed. See, it is rotating. It is looking nice. Now we will assign one more. Now we will assign one limit. See, it is rotating the full 360 degree. So we will assign a, a small limit in between. So let's select this line, click mat, choose this line. Uh, okay, it is parallel, but uh, we will go to advanced mat, choose angle, keep angle 80 degree. Okay, this also keep 80 degree and this one keep 30 degree click ok ok now the limit is assigned see this is the maximum minimum and maximum minimum and maximum
now again choose net select this surface and this surface choose parallel click ok click ok now let's see how it is moving This is minimum and this is maximum opening. See, it is opening maximum and minimum. This thread, this is rack and pinion option. Just click this line and hide it. 